All right, my name is Lee. I worked here at Northland probably 20 some odd years. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of insight on contamination and bearings and what a new bearing should look like when you, when you receive it. Over here, this is what we have, a contaminated bearing and a bearing that failed from what appears to be excessive coolant. What happened on this bearing is the coolant washed out the grease and that allows the bearing to fail prematurely because there's nothing to lubricate the bearing. Um, this pair is basically it's just from contamination. There's a lot of cutting oil and debris in the bearings. That also causes them to fail prematurely. Uh, this is a roller bearing. This roller bearing has also been contaminated. You can see by the amount of dirt and, and the coolant that's in the bearing. Um, what it does, it causes the rollers to cloud over and it causes them to turn rough inside of the, uh, the outer race. It generates heat, just causes premature failure. Um, what a new bearing should look like is when you get it, the roller, the outer race, you'll see is, should be, will be shiny. There's no scoring, nothing like that, where the old bearing has got what we call, uh, we like to call railroad tracks, or it's, it's just as a, as a wear path from the rollers rotating around from the dirt, so it doesn't have a smooth surface anymore. The rollers will be nice and shiny, and it should feel smooth when you put it together, when you spin it with oil, you should, it should be nice and smooth. Same, same thing goes for a for a angular contact bearing. On a, on a new bearing and a bearing that's good, the balls will be nice and shiny, no cloudiness to them whatsoever. And when you put your hand on it to preload it, it should spin nice and smooth. You shouldn't feel any any glitches or scratchiness to the bearing whatsoever. Um, and that's it basically. As far as preventive maintenance, and, and trying to make your bearings last longer. Try to keep as much coolant out of the bearings as possible. Um, and I guess, you know, that's that's it, basically. Is the longer the bearings stay clean, the grease stays clean, the longer the spindle's gonna last.